finding your purpose needs to be the most important mission of your life. You know, I always say, if you're not walking in your purpose, you're just working and living to die. And I hope it shakes people to the core when they hear that, right? If you're not walking in your purpose, you're just working and living to die. And so you've got to figure out what that purpose and calling is. And purpose should not be hard, right? There's all these conversations about finding your purpose and podcasts and blogs, and it's this hard, really tough thing to figure out. It shouldn't be. Your purpose is your superpower. I talk about it in my book. I equate it to your superpower. What is the thing that you're naturally great at? morning guys um <clears throat> excuse me for sounding really really crazy right now um but i just got done taking my twist out and laying my edges a bit um I'm, now i'm basically dressed to have on this bodysuit leather pants um and then my shoes are i don't know what shoes i'm gonna wear today but ready to go i grabbed my sweater as well just in case i decide to go to the courthouse but i probably won't um because i have like a big assignment to do today uh with my attorney so that's that i woke up late so i wasn't able to do my full morning routine um but i was able to get in the shower wash my face um take my hair down really quick throw my clothes now it's about time for me to head out um, I need to stop and get gas and then go pick up Jada and then head to work. Hey y'all. Um, so I haven't picked up since Sunday, I believe. Um, but it is Wednesday, July 19th. It is my grandma's birthday. Um, it is currently 7.07. I'm headed out the door. Um, but I decided to pick you guys up. Take you along my drive. But yeah, I have on this white top skirt. I'm not wearing these Crocs. I'm wearing my Converse. They're in my car. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get ready to head out. Um, yeah, I decided to pick you guys up. Take you along my day. So we're gonna do that. So let's head to work. Hey y'all. So it is Saturday. Um, I need to finish packing. We're officially less than a week out of me moving. Um, I moved Friday, so I need to really, really pack so that I don't have to worry about it throughout the rest of the week. So let me show you guys. Uh, I'm not sure my kitchen. This is what we're going to tackle. Get all of this stuff. That I know I'm not going to be using the rest of the week out of here. Um, all this stuff. This thing. This thing. This thing. This thing, of course. And really, like, clean up. Um, go through these drawers. See what's in here. That one's empty. Clean out from under here. Because, honestly, um... I don't have anything under here that I would need. Sorry, it looks, it's dark. So, and then in here are my old candles, um, but I need to write down the scents so that I can stock up on them. I need to finish packing that up and then we will get started on my kitchen and everything else, my bedroom as well, so. It's really just going to be a full day of packing, so stay tuned. Life is fair, but love is not. Masarap gilig-in at mailab. Ten times kasakit. Ah, uh, mabaste. Is it 
Is it worth it? Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> They seem to not care. Didn't seem to affect them. The same thing also happened when their parents came back into the room. They made no effort to be kind. See that in the garden, when Adam and Eve first began their relationship with God, there was a sense of secure attachment. See, it's difficult to really understand what it was like to be Adam and Eve because even when Moses saw the face of God, his face shone so brightly that he had to cover. But for Adam and Eve, all they knew was this visible, tangible presence of God. It's very, very much later in the day. Um, it is 5.41. I just came back from the grocery store. About to get started on dinner. Um and start really just prepping out what I'm going to eat for the rest of the days that I'll be here, which will be tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, kind of shorter. Um, but my grandparents come Thursday, so we'll probably go out to eat. Um, I did my braid out yesterday. But yeah, I'm about to find me some fish. Okay, I low-key started eating already, but... This is how dinner came out. So I fried me some catfish, got me some green beans and macaroni. That is a lot of macaroni actually, but it's all right. But yo, this is busting. No, but it's busting now. Hey y'all, so it is Thursday night. Um, I'm back from work. Um, and I went out to eat with my grandparents because they came down today. It is 9.34, um, and we have to pack because we move tomorrow. As you can see, my microwave thing is still on my counter. I have to pack this up. I need to clean out my pantry and everything else. So my grandma told me, don't worry about it. We'll just do it in the morning. But... I just want to get out the way, so I'm really just going to spend tonight packing up as much as I can before I go to bed, um, and then whatever I don't, I'll just get it in the morning, because I just don't want them to worry about it, so we're about to get to packing it up. I'm so excited, but I'm also tired, so let's do it. Okay, um, it is currently 12.32. I am done basically with most of my packing. I'm like 99.9% .9 done. Um, let me show you guys. Over here, two of them. One goes on my bed, one goes on my couch. Those are for my chair that's on my balcony. Couch is cleared out. Um, we have my TV right here, which is unplugged, and I unplugged my fire stick, my console, clear, that ladder is out of here, I mean, it's out here, um, I have this stuff, these two trash bags are clothes that I'm giving away, this backpack is filled with something that's full of textbooks, this is full with clothes that go in my dresser, um, and then we have most of the stuff right here. This stuff on top of this box, I need to put away. Um, I have this stuff right here, which I couldn't fit in a box. Um, all of my stuff 
that is right here yeah so this is basically um everything that i have done i'm about to go to bed because i know that tomorrow is going to be a long day um yeah i need to get up early Let's go by the bank before the op the office opens um and then go to the office pick up the key to the new unit let them know that um once we move everything out of this unit, I will give them the key, um, which will be well before they close tomorrow. Um, they close at 5.30, which I know will be, everything will be out of here by 5.30. Um, we have three cars that will be basically carrying things. Um, and it's not that much that needs to be carried out of here anyway, so that's that. Um, yeah, so I am just going to go to bed. Um, it's closing out. I will catch you guys in the morning for the move. Um, hey, don't mind my headscarf. It's just on to lay my edges, but I am out the shower. Um, today has been a day. It is actually, I think after eight o'clock, um, I just got out the shower from everything, you know, moving everything into the new unit. It is a whole story. Um, so today was basically like, so, um, I got up this morning, um, my grandparents, they came and we were actually going to start moving, um, stuff from the unit I was in into the unit that I was supposed to move in. Keyword, supposed to. Um, I went to Walmart, got my money order for my security deposit, prorated rent, all that. So I go in the office and the girl tells me that, um, one, the company that was supposed to replace the carpet um, went to the wrong apartment complex on Wednesday, so they weren't able to come to this one because they were booked up um, before I moved in to replace the carpet. So she was like, they were going to replace it Monday. Okay, cool. Um, then she goes on to say that the cleaning people are currently in the unit that I'm supposed to be moving in into. Um, cleaning up the apartment, they should be done by this afternoon. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I'm not thinking nothing of it, of what I was about to walk into. So I, I go, um, she gives me the key to the, to the unit I was supposed to move into. Now, mind you, yesterday I did say that I still saw the patio furniture out on the patio. So I was like, okay, like there's no way they could have have could have cleaned this unit if I'm still seeing this last night um, when I came back in. We, me and my grandparents were like, okay, let's go over there before we start moving stuff to just walk through, get a feel of the floor plan, the layout and everything and see where everything's gonna go. So yeah, we're like, let's see um, where everything's gonna go. Let's see like how much it is they have to clean, all that. When I walk in there, like, the unit was trashed. I have pictures. I'm going to post, put them on the screen to show you guys what they thought they were going to move me into. Um, it was completely trash. The carpet was dirty. And big black stains on the carpet. Like, do you think that I was about to move in here, move my stuff into here with this carpet looking like this? Absolutely not. Sinks had um, cigarette buds all in it. It just, the smell was just disgusting. Um, it was completely like smoked out. Um, it was just horrible. Like I was not moving into there. Um, that was not something that was gonna be done in a day. That's a weak job. So went back um, to the apartment, um, to the office, explained to them what was the issue. I was not moving into there. Um, and I really let my grandma do the talking because honestly, when I walked in to that unit, I like had no words because I was just like, are you serious? Like this just could not be happening to me, but it was, um, did that. 
she was like oh my gosh i'm so sorry i apologize da -da -da -da. um so i was like yeah we have to figure this out like I need a unit that is clean and ready for me to move into today because my lease is up in my current unit. Like something needs to shake. Um, so we got it resolved. I was able to get into another unit in another building and I am in love with it. Um, what we've done so far. Um, yeah, I love it. I love the floor plan. I love the layout. Um, so I just have to go back in tomorrow, um, get the, you know, make sure everything is situated with them transferring me to another unit, um, last minute at their inconvenience, not mine. Um, and we're going to make sure that rent is around the same price or, you know, matter of fact, you can make it less because it was completely an inconvenience, um, that pushed us back two hours. Um, yeah, I was just honestly glad that it was me and my grandparents that walked into there and not my mom because my mom would have flipped, like flipped off. Um, she was, you know, on the phone when I told her, uh, when we told her what was going on, she was just like, you know, like y'all need to go in there um, and figure it out and basically make sure that it's done before she gets here. Um, and that we did, which I'm glad we did. Um, but yeah, we are coming along, coming along. Um, I still have things that I have to put up tonight, but just got the shower. I'm about to wash my face. Um, and then we're going to eat. Yeah. Um, that is one of the main reasons why I did not pick up my camera at all today. Um, because of that like it was just too much my head was hurting it was hot um i was so sweaty and sticky um yeah it was just i couldn't find like the right time to like pick up the camera um because we were constantly on go with making sure that we got everything out of that unit into here um and going to like the store and everything but mainly the grocery store um, I still have a few more things that I need to get. Um, but yeah, that's just my little spill on what I <laughs> dealt with today. Today, um, I guess I will show you guys the living room. It's not done. Um, the couch that I have in here is more than likely not going to be the couch that stays in here. Um, but I am in love with my new entertainment center. So I think I might just show that. So I have to get more little things to go in there. This fireplace actually is a heater as well. Um, and the lights on here change colors. So yeah, the colors change, which I love. That is a mood, okay? Yeah. Hey y'all, so I'm back from brunch. Um, it was really, really good um, and much needed after a roll of the wind of a weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm back home. I am about to relax and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Um, if you're, you know, haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I'm dropping more videos. And if you like more like this, please comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.